Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Chrissy Tania and this is video 2 out of 3 on how to tempering chocolate with your Thermomix TM6. And this is the how to video to temper white chocolate which arguably is the most temperamental of them all. Without further ado, we're going to make a creation, a dessert creation, an exceptional one that will wow your guests for any dinner parties using Thermomix. Okay. So for these purposes, we're going to temper white chocolate and it is very, especially for white chocolate, it is very good for you to get a good quality one. So I got one, which is from a Belgium chocolate. What you need to do when you, whenever you want to temper chocolate is to go to the back and see the recommended tempering temperature. Every brand has a different suggestions. Here, you have an advice of going up to 45 to 50 degree, bring it down to 26 to 27 degree, and up again to 29 and 30 degree, which what we call is a working temperature. Okay, so every couverture or every chocolate, good chocolate that you buy is already tempered. And with Thermomix, what we can do is we can eliminate the half, the middle part, and we just want to go from this peak, which is the melting peak, to the third peak, which is the working temperature. Okay, so let's temper this white chocolate. I will advise when you want to temper with the Thermomix is for you to not to temper it anywhere below 300 grams because I find if any less than that is just a little bit too little for you to be able to make it worthwhile to temper, right? For this video, I'm gonna first start melt around 200 grams of white chocolate. So at a burst of one minute, 40 degrees, and not more than two and a half minutes. All right, so that's the first burst of one minute. You wanna scrape everything. Go back again to the center. We're gonna go with the second burst of one minute. So because we're melting this at a lower temperature than let's say if you're melting dark chocolate, it's going to take a, a, around additional a couple more bursts all right, so that will be the last burst. Everything is shiny, as you can see, everything is melted. That's the melting point of the white chocolate. And now we're going to bring it down to the working temperature, which is between 29 to 30 degrees, okay? So we add around one third, we, we call what is seeding method, which is you add the unmelted chocolate to the melted chocolate over here to bring the temperature down quickly. So just now we melt around 200 grams of chocolate. So now you want to add around between like 50 to 70 grams of chocolate. So let's do the first burst. So what you do, set it again for a burst of around one minute. No temperature, like you don't have to have a heating temperature set. Two and a half speed. So another thing that is really worth of your investment is to find a digital thermometer. You can find it readily available in any cooking supply store near you. You see here, so we are still at around like 33 degrees. That is still kind of hot. So you want to bring it down again. So what you do, you can just add a little bit of chocolate as well and start again. One minute and two and a half speed. For today's video, we're going to use a um, mold, which is, uh, this is a, a chocolate mold. Check the temperature and we're good to go. All right, so now we're going to make sort of like a white chocolate nest. Okay, and you probably can get this from bonding as well. You just basically scrape it, and you just have to let it crystallize in a fridge. Little feathers with this one. Okay, so using the leftover of the white chocolate that you have left over here and a little knife, we're going to make some feathers. So take your knife, dip it a little bit, press it. Cool. Press, lift up a bit. Cool. Again, take your trusty PVC pipe. So for today's dessert, we are going to use the chocolate fondant from Cookie Do. 
so we I make it at different sizes so I make one a large size like this and I make a smaller size like this as well and the other recipe that I use for this plate of dessert is a basic crumble that you can find over here crumble a little bit of a ring kata, just to sort of give it a base one half Okay, fresh fruit. You just have to close this like this. Okay. Take out the little PVC pipe with your your leaves. You might not have a blowtorch at home. You can just light up your oven and then just heat up your knife a little bit. And with your hot knife, just make sort of like a Diagonal incision and you have your feather. Some freeze dried raspberry. Alright, so with the hot knife that you have just now, you can just run it a little bit to the top, sort of like melting it a bit, and that will become your glue. How-to video of making a humble chocolate fondant cake into wowing dessert for your dinner party. <laughs>